Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to ZN Track Tech. In today's class, we will learn about measuring tools in size of Marvelous Designer. In Marvelous Designer, you will see on the 3D window, we have measuring tool. The first tool here is the edit measure tool and then we have the attach to measure tool. Apart from that, all the other tools are to measure. So the first two we will skip for now and then once we are done with uh, all of them, then we will move back to here. Now here we have the basic tape measure tool. This is for avatar to measure the part of the avatar. So for example, if I will take this tool, you can see that some part of the measuring are highlighted just for your ease. Okay. Like suppose if you know about uh, like tailoring and you are familiar with the tailoring, so you will understand why these are highlighted. These are highlighted to make it easier for you to measure. So I will turn off the like simulation for now and I will hide all these for now. Okay, to hide it, I will press Shift Q on the keyboard and they will be hidden in the 3D window. Now I can go back here, take that tool. Now suppose if I want to measure how, uh, how much is the height from uh, the neck of this avatar to this uh, like belly part. So I can simply click here, okay? And then it will stay straight. But if you want to stick to the surface, so you can press shift on your keyboard, so it will just move straight and move wherever you want. So suppose if I will move it here, okay? And you can double click so that you can end the line there. So once you double click it, the line will be ended and it will show you how uh, but like what is the distance from the neck to this part of the belly that is 48.02 centimeters. I'm using zero point uh, like centi uh, centimeter units. You can change it from the setting uh, and from the preferences as you want. So I like to work with centimeters. So I have kept a centimeter. So this is how you can measure with a basic tool. So maybe you can do your own uh, like measuring. Like suppose if you want to measure in a... Uh, different directions like something like this okay double click it here now it will show you that the whole thing is around 41.03 sometimes you want to create uh these uh like uh like sort of special garment line cut out so for that purpose you can make uh yeah like zigzag lines or curved lines or something like that okay now if you want to delete that simple here we have the edit measure tool take that tool select the part if you want to make it bigger or smaller you can do that okay or and then you can or you can press and delete if you want okay other than that it can highlight your uh existing uh like guidelines here which you can cl click on so that you can get the uh any uh like measuring tool over it okay like suppose if i click on it it will show me this the whole distance is from uh from this part to this part is this much and if i will press shift key on the keyboard i can select more than that okay so i hope this part uh, like this is easy uh like uh understandable so that was the attach now let's uh sorry that that was edit measure tool now let's move to the basic circumference now basic surf, uh, circumference uh for avatar we have two kinds basic and uh like, like basic circumference and surface circumference. Circumference means in a round form. So anything that is round, you can measure or you want to measure something in a round form, you can use this. So basic means like it will stray, uh, stay straight without any uh, like curve or, you know, uh, like sharp corner points or, or like points that are going down or like, downwards or upwards so it will be very basic surface can be in any form like it can go a little bit down or up or a little zigzag but it will stay in a circular form okay so i will take the basic first and suppose i want to measure this part of the sleeve so i can click one time here and then i can select the second line and as soon as i will click that it will allow me to create a a basic circumference okay so if you are 
satisfied with what you want, just click it and it will complete it for you. So this is uh, how much it is, 28.89 centimeters. Okay, so I will remove this one. Delete, uh, like you can press delete on your keyboard, it will be deleted. Now with circum, uh, like surface circumference, okay, I can create something like curved or uh, you can say non-straight or just you can see how the shape is going. It's not, it's not like basic, it's half curves or some like, or something like non-basic stuff. So for that purpose, you can use this, uh, like surface circumference. Okay, so let's delete these two we have created so far. Okay. Now, what is the surface uh, tape measure? Uh, surface uh, tape measure is same like a basic tape measure but here also it will calculate the surface and it will stick to the surface and you don't have to uh, make it straight or something uh, or curved like uh, like that okay and you can click and drag also so if you want to make some straight line or curves like that and double click on it. So that's how it actually works. So next we have the line mayor avatar. If I will take this line measure avatar, so what it will do is that it will create a line and it will measure the avatar with that line. Like suppose if I click it here, And it, I can go back any part, something like that. Okay. Then we have height measure avatar. If I will take this one, so it it will calculate only the line. Suppose I want to see, uh, like it will only calculate on the basis on the height. Suppose I want to check. Uh, what is the height of the avatar from the from this part of the neck? Okay, so I can go here, click on it, and it will show me from this part it is six one point zero three. And if you want to compare it with some other heights, so you can go to any other part just to see. Suppose from here, and it will show you this is how much it is. Okay, and if you want to remove it, edit, select, delete. Select and delete. I hope this is clear. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's. Uh, I will take this uh, like a basic tape measure. I will create a line here. Double click on it. Okay. And then I will go back to my garment. Shift Q to unhide it. Now, uh, in the measuring tool, we have edit measure garment, if you want to edit, and linear measure garment, and circumference measure garment. This is basically for garments, not for avatar. So, if I will go to any part of the garment and click over it, okay, like suppose here, it will start creating line on the garment itself. Oops, sorry. I have to click on it, then I will be able to get it. Let's turn off this. Okay, so you can see how it is. I have this line here and this line here and it is on the avatar itself just showing me that. Now what I can do is that I can go back to my edit measure garment tool and select these, delete them. Next is the uh, 
like this was linear means like four straight lines circumference measure garment tool creates a circumference around your garments to show you circular calculation of it okay so that's how it actually works but it goes into uh in the uh like straight direction okay if you wanted to remove the one that you have created you can delete that now if you remember i created a basic tape here on my uh avatar if i will take my uh basic surface like circumference tool uh sorry surface tape tool and start drawing on my oops i forgot it should be a basic tape tool because surface tape tool only works on avatar's body but basic tape tool can work on either avatar body or on your uh what do you call it? the garment okay So let's select this one. Or or leave it uh for now because I think it will not create on the garment. So the reason to create this was to demonstrate attach to measuring lines. Okay. The one that I showed you here, we have attached to measure avatar. So once I will take this, what I can do is that I can take any internal line or seam from my garment, click on it, and then click on the line that I have created. Either the line uh, can, uh, like line can be either circumference line or uh, like a basic line or any line which is on the avatar. So just click on it. And after that, if you simulate, so it will attach to that part. Just see, it has moved down. So that's one pur uh, like purpose of doing that. Just to, show you that uh it it will stay there okay basically it's not uh like tacking like the tack tool uh, which we used previously it's like just moved it there okay pulled it there and this is good for measuring like when we are measuring uh up things so this is how it is done now you can make it bigger or smaller just to see uh how like just to adjust the size that you want Okay. So I hope you have understood uh, the measuring tool over here and now you have known what is the purpose of it. It's always good to measure your avatars or the garment parts if you want to create something really perfect. Okay, And obviously uh, practice makes perfect and once you will have the concept of uh, like tailoring so it will become easier for you. So if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon. To support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise I won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful. So take care guys, stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive your own training institute. If you are enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird Membership Plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends Membership Plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 